as fellow boys and girls. I greet you from wherever you are, and I welcome you to the first virtual uh, lesson on social studies. Um, before we can do anything, as we are well aware that we are in this time of COVID-19, it's important that we observe the principal peace, uh, which include washing of our hands regularly, uh, using sanitizers if we can't get water, like I am doing, I'm sanitizing because I can't access water. Then, uh, always make sure you are wear your mask. When you wear your mask, you handle your mask from the loops and you put on. Make sure the loops are behind your ears. Um, for the purpose of this lesson, I won't be using the mask just to make sure I am clear enough. So whatever you do, make sure you follow the SOPs to the fullest. Uh, back to our lesson, before we went home for lockdown, we had started on the people of East Africa. We had looked at the East African community, the background, how it was formed, the reasons why it was formed. Um, we had to cross to look at the people of East Africa before the colonialists came. We, we looked at the history, the various sources of history, archaeology, oral tradition, written history, and very many of them. So today I want us to start on ethnic groups of East Africa. Let's look at major ethnic groups of East Africa. Now, before we go deep into <coughs> ethnic groups of East Africa, I want us to first learn some of these words that we shall be interacting with them during the course of our learning under this subtopic of ethnic groups. Uh, I will put this and I say it, then you repeat after me from your in the comfort of your living room, wherever you are learning from, or study room. Uh, we, we are going to be interacting with this word. This word is pastoralism. 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 You can spell it P A S T O R A L I S M. One is pastoralism. Good. Another word we shall be interacting with so closely will be this one. This one is interlocustrain. Repeat after me, interlocustrain. Let's spell it. I N T E R L A U C U S T R I N E. The word is 
into the bus train. Intermarriage. Repeat after me. Intermarriage. Let's spell I N T E R M A R R I A G E. The word is intermarriage. Another word we shall be meeting in our discussion or in our learning will be cradle land. Cradle, cradle land. These are two separate words. Let's spell C R A D L E. That is for cradle. L A N D, that is for land. So the whole word is cradle land. Can you say cradle land? We shall also be meeting this word. This word is cultivation. Repeat after me. Cultivation. Let us spell C U L T I V a T I O N. The word is cultivation. We shall also be interacting with this word. This is bar el gazelle. Can you say bar el gazelle? Repeat after me. Bar el gazelle. Let's spell it. B. A H R. You put a hyphen. E L. Then another hyphen. G H A Z E L. The word is bar el gazelle. Bar el gazelle. Let's look at this long one. This is Cameroon Highlands. Can we say Cameroon Highlands? Cameroon Highlands. Let us spell C A M E R O O N. That's Cameroon. H I G H L a N D S Highlands. So the whole word is Cameroon Highlands. Can I say Cameroon Highlands? That's good. Another one is this one. I hope you can see. The word is overstocking. Can I say overstocking? Let us spell O V E R S T O C K I N G. The word is overstocking. What is overstocking? So, having looked at those words, uh, I want us to go straight and look at the meaning of ethnic groups. Yes. I know that 
class setup, you, some of you would be able to, to try and define uh, for us the word ethnic group. But since this situation has put us in our different homes, uh, let us save time by defining the word ethnic group. How do you define ethnic group? An ethnic group is a group of people who share the same origin and speak related languages. An ethnic group is a group of people who share the same origin and speak related languages. That's right. Now, after learning about these characteristics, you should be able to identify people of a given ethnic group, even if they belong to different tribes. Okay? Uh, one of the most common characteristics is that people speak related languages, as in the definition. We're saying people speak related languages. Stars. People speak related. Allow me to bring in another word related or similar languages. People speak related or similar languages. Similar means they are closely related. Another similar, another characteristic that we can look at is people have similar names. People of the same ethnic group have similar names. Similar is not the same. They are just related. Let's take for example these names.
I hope we are able to read this name. Uh, the first one is Mukasa. The second one is Mugasha. Are they the same? You will tell me they are not the same. <coughs> but they are similar. They sound similar. So this is these are people from different tribes, but they belong to one ethnic group. That's uh, about the ethnic, I mean about the languages, I mean about the names. Another, another characteristic is Language and 
culture. That means people of a given tribe came from the same place, speak the same language, and have the same cultural practices. It's not different. Whether you are in a, whether you're not a tribe but live in a different district, what, what we are talking about here is that you share the same origin, you have the same culture, you speak the same language. <coughs> now let us look at the major ethnic groups that we have in East Africa. We are going to look at the major ethnic groups in East Africa and where they came from. And perhaps uh, their main occupation before they came. It is also important for us to know that different groups came to East Africa uh, based on the occupation that they, that they held when they were in their homeland. The homeland is what we call in the cradle land, where they lived before coming to East Africa. Now let us uh, have this simple table and we, we fit in the different ethnic groups that we have. Now, in East Africa, we shall look at six major ethnic groups uh, who migrated into East Africa from different places. Now, in this first column, we shall have the ethnic group. And in the middle column, we shall talk about where they came from. Then, the last column, we shall fit in what they, what the occupation was, their traditional occupation, what they were doing before they came to East Africa. Some of them still practice those uh, activities up to now. We fit in. Growing. 
clearing of land for the purpose of crop growing. So we are saying that merit cultivation was cultivation. Then the other ethnic book we want us to look at is the Nilotics. Can I say the Nilotics? The Nilotics are believed to have come from a place called Bar El Gazelle. Can I say Bar El Gazelle? Sorry. Bar El Gazelle. What I showed you at the beginning of the lesson, Bar El Gazelle. This place is found in South Sudan along River Nile. So we write and say they came from Bar El The main occupation of the Nilotics was pastoralism. Can I say pastoralism? <coughs> How do you define pastoralism? Pastoralism is the practice of keeping animals on a large scale as an economic activity or as an occupation. The practice of keeping animals on a large scale as an economic activity or occupation. That means all the Nilotics initially were pastoralists from their previous land before they came to East Africa. You underline your your work neatly Then we write the next ethnic group that is plain nylons. When I say plain nylons, the plain nylons are believed to have originated from Ethiopia. From Ethiopia, Ethiopia is a country in northeastern Africa. The region is called the Horn of Africa. So we write, we came from Ethiopia. And their main occupation was also pastoralism. We have already defined what pastoralism is.
The Hamites and the Kashites are believed to have come from a place from the Horn of Africa, from the Horn of Africa. The Horn of Africa is a region that is northeast, northeastern part of Africa. Countries like Ethiopia, countries like Eritrea, Somalia, and Djibouti make up the Horn of Africa. Then the last, the last group. The last book we are going to look at are the Sudanic people. Sudanic people. What is the Sudanic people? The Sudanic people are believed to have come from South Sudan. South? South Sudan. They were mainly fishermen and pastoralists. So the occupation was fishing and pastoralism. So class, it's important for us to know that before all these people came to East Africa, there were already some people living in East Africa. Okay? We call them the original inhabitants of East Africa. These people were called the Bushmen. That is the Bushmen. The Bushmen occupied this place before all these ethnic groups came. Now, the first ethnic group to enter East Africa were the Hamites or the Kushites. Some people call it Kushites, others say Kushites. The most important thing is if you know the spelling. C U S H I T E S. That is the Kushites. So the Kushites were the first ethnic groups to come to East Africa. But we are saying before they came, there were already people living in East Africa, and those were there, the Bushmen. In primary five, we learned that the Bantu were the first to come to Uganda. Yes, to Uganda, Bantu were the first. But in East Africa, the Hamites or the Kushites were the first people to come to East Africa. Let's write this note. Let's read through these notes. It's important for you to take note of these points that the original inhabitants, original inhabitants means the people who lived here before. We're saying they were called Bushmen. Then 
the first group to migrate into East Africa were the Kushites or the Habites, whom we are saying came from the whole of Africa. Okay? We are saying they came from the whole of Africa. More, we shall talk more about them in a subsequent lesson. I want us to briefly look at the general causes of migration of these ethnic groups. Why these ethnic groups uh, moved into East Africa? We look at causes of ethnic migration. Let's look at general causes. Of course, the causes are, was, uh, the causes were mainly influenced by the occupation of ethnic groups. So we first look at the major ones. Uh, cultivators like the Bantu moved away from their homeland in search of areas with fertile soil. So we say search for fertile soil. And we say search for fertile soil. So they were looking for places that could support their economic activity. Another one is search for search for good climate. Search for good climate. What about pastoralists? Pastoralists moved in search of water and pasture. Search for
fast. Hope the activity very fast. So you can write these activities in your book. Number one is saying what is an ethnic group? Number two, who were the first people to occupy East Africa before the coming of before ethnic migration? Number three, which ethnic group is believed to have been the first to move into East Africa? Number four, give any two characteristics of an ethnic group. Five, what is pastoralism? Number six is saying why did pastoralists move into East Africa? Uh, it is important that you write this activity plus others that will come during the course of this week. Then you bring them over to school. I look forward to marking them. Uh, as I conclude, uh, don't forget to follow the SOPs. Wash your hands regularly, use your sanitizer, wear your mask and please stay home if you, if you can. Okay? Thank you.